Ooh, this music's kind of funky. I'm liking this, but what is up heroes and welcome to Pokemon Hunt for the Yeti. Another game made for the Relic Castle game jam. It's going to be a short game, but it looks pretty fun. I'm just loving this light music, man. I just want to like, bob my head to it. It's really good. <laughs> anyway, let's jump into it, otherwise I'll be like, waiting here for like ages. But beware. Everything you see here may be real. Ooh. Oh, good morning, Gala. Welcome back, my good fellows, to another bright day in our great region's history. This is Gala Radio, and I'm your splendid radio host, Sir Richard LaCour. I think LaCour. There is much to cover today, from heavy monsoons in the Indus region, to a new breed of extra cute furfrow shocking all of Carlos. But first, a very special announcement straight from our very own Boys in Red. As you may all know, our brave explorers have recently discovered a true wonder of the world. A mountain, strong and powerful, like Gala naturally, and higher than any other we have ever seen before. New photographs are being sent straight to Winden as we speak, but there is still much to explore on this mountain. The first the music, man. The first of our explorers to find this beast have called it Mount Everon, after the fallen Galarian hero. And now, to bring you to bring to you straight into this uh, wilderness, we have an interview with a great man straight from Everon, Lieutenant Colonel Porkins. <laughs> Begin recording. So, Lieutenant Porkins, I've heard through the uh, grapevine that your that your men are planned to be. <laughs> That's the music, man. <laughs> are planned to be the first people to uh, <laughs> the summit Mount Everon. Well, my name's actually Perkins, okay, for, for a start. And yes, we are planning an expedition to the summit. I like Porkins, it's better, but... Right, sorry, my boy. Anyway, Porkins, we hear that you have some illustrious guests come with you on this journey. Are you kidding me? You still can't get it right. You're a radio host. It's Perkins. Is this some kind of joke? Settle down, old chap. We all make mistakes. Now, tell me about those illustrious hiking companions of yours. Fine. The Glorian Royal uh, Mountaineering Office has been recruited a recruited renowned scientist, Professor Wilson Powers, for the journey. Truly spectacular. All of you at home should know the name of Powers. He discovered the uses of Rotom in science labs. Quite so, my fellow. He and his lovely assistant will be joining our survey of the wildlife as we journey to the summit. I'm sure there are <laughs> interesting things to discover at such high altitudes. Lots of interesting creatures. Splendid! Now for a more sensitive question. All the listeners at home have surely heard the terrifying legend of the Yeti. Any comments you can... No comment. This interview is over. Goodbye and have a nice day. Uh, Ricard. Hey, that's not my name. <laughs> You're Professor Wilson Powers. Okay. Alright then. <laughs> you sick dude. Ah, Professor Powers. It's been quite a long time. I was just telling Perkins about the time you... Not here, ma uh, Major. Aha! Good times, my friend. Anyway, we're glad to have you here this far away from Gala. It's a dangerous land out here, but we're glad you're with us. Could we please get to the point, Major? The expedition will launch soon, sorry. <laughs> Unfortunately, we have, haven't found a guide. And there are other delays. Well put, Perkins. Yes, I don't exactly have the best memory. But I'm sure you, Professor, will be able to find uh, quite a suitable guide for us. Us? You're not coming, Major? Anyway, Powers, we need you to go out into this town and find us a guide. I heard they hang around in a local shop. And don't forget your Rotom. I left it on the desk for you. Okie dokie, so we are gonna grab this. Sweet, got our Rotom. Uh, what level is it? Level 30, okay. Uh, can we change the, the form of it at some point? Our character design looks really cool. Another little hat. <laughs> but so far, the music, dude. <laughs> oh. Professor, I thought it would be ages until you showed up. For a moment I thought you'd chicken out again. Me? Chicken out? Never. I just have certain cautions about 
many things. Same old Professor Powers. I've missed you. You have to learn to live a little. And of course, we'll see who reaches the top first during the hike, eh? Who will it be? You. I probably won't even make it past the first camp. I'm already feeling sick. Now, oh, come on, Professor. Be positive. Think of how fun it will be. Or even better, how much research you'll get out of it. And I'm probably already blabbering on and on. And I'm, I'll be quite insufferable on the way up. Look, why don't you meet me in uh, town later? I'll be at the gear shop. There's so much cool stuff in there. I'm quite giddy at the fort. See you around, Professor. What if I see you first? Ooh. Uh, okay, so they're like, I don't know, banner on the tree? I thought it was like, we can pick up for a second. Oh, item there. Let's go grab that. Found some leftovers. Ooh, okay. Alright, so we need to go to the gear shop and then also find the, uh, the tour guide. Let's go talk to some people. My mummy says I'm too young to go up into the mountain and camp like all those cool hikers. So I pretend I'm camping by sitting in front of this fire. Ooh, that's nice. Uh, have you heard the story of the boy who went missing up on the mountain? Heard it was near the second camp. Such a tragedy. His parents must be crushed. Ooh. Second camp, eh? Yo, what's up? Back in the old days, I was the finest battler in the valley. I don't make battlers like me anymore. <laughs> Ooh, hi. Uh... Monk, I find no need to rush to the top of the mountain. I'm perfectly content staying in this nice warm Pokemon Center. Not gonna lie, Cover Mountain sounds really fun, but also just being the four, like you know, staying like in a nice warm place around like a, a, a wintry place. I don't know, it sounds really just nice. <laughs> okay, uh, did I speak to you? Oh, I have, yeah. Second mountain or second camp at the mountain. Uh, yo, what's up, you two? Personally, I'm scared of the mountain. Oh, why's that? Don't you think the mountain always looks so peaceful, dear? Yeah, he's scared of it. So I can't get that item about cut or surf. And we don't have that. And uh, nothing down here. Who is going to be the tour guide? The river is cold, but the water is warm. There's only pretty fishes down there. I'm assuming it's going to be... Someone who- oh wait, what? If you're willing to help me, I might have something you'd like. Oh, okay, help. That's so kind of you. Well, you see, all the other mountaineers have Mumswine and Gigalith, and tough partners like that. I have well and normal. It was my mother's, and while I tried to get my own partner, it didn't work. Here's the deal. If you catch a swine up, I'll trade my normal for it. That'd be great. That's not too bad. Not my normal. Oh, this is the gear shop. Hey, Professor, you came. I don't think you would. You need to find someone to help us. None of the guides are being very helpful. Okay, I guess we get the guide in here then. First, though, I have, to, I have a better idea. Let's battle. Fair enough, let's go. Ooh. This music. I've heard it before. What is this from? Oh, I know I've heard this before. Oh, I cannot make it out. I know I've heard this song before. Just don't know where it's from in a potion, okay. We should finish you off here though. Nice. Easy peasy. Give me that sweet, sweet XP. Ooh. Well, I'm impressed. You should be. Wow, you and Rodom aren't as bad as I thought. I guess it's time to find a guide then. Alright, let's go and find one. Uh, I reckon you. You're the odd one out. So many types of cabiners. I'm in love. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've climbed a dozen of mountains from Coronet to Alana Killer. I was part of the first of a group to summit Mount Pyre. Guide you up, everyone? Well, uh, you see, I'm a little busy right now. No thanks, I'm not going up. It's not because of the Yeti. Oh. Seems like everyone's scared of this Yeti, man. This place could uh, have everything you could possibly need for hiking and climbing. I don't want to guide you up. No, it's an evil place right now. Alrighty. So I don't feel like guiding you up this week? World Cup's going on. Gonna be glued to the family radio every single day. 
Not going crazy. You Galarians think you can just try and summit the uh, the Great Mountain at any time? It's not right. Too dangerous. Wait a couple of years. Okie dokie. It's got to be this tent. This tent right here. Before we go in there, though, I want to go to this house. Because I feel like that tent's got to have the, uh, the guide in. Well, are you from Gala? Oh, Dad. Uh, I've always uh, wanted to go. So is my daughter. Wait, who's your, uh, who's your daughter? And... You're a dad too. <laughs> Ooh. You'll see prayer flags everywhere around here. We use them to bless the land and, around, and the world around us. When the flags are blown by the wind, all of the goodwill and compassion we've put into, the, put into them spread out into the air. I've climbed to some strange places to put up flags. Since you were such a good listener, why don't you have this? Ooh, ice heal. Thank you very much. Yo, what's up? Oh, hello, friend. We got to hear about our monastery. Uh, yes. Well, the Nachla Monastery, my, my and my brother's home, is a place of learning and spirituality. We live in harmony with all Pokemon. We also strive for enlightenment, opening our hearts and souls to nature and becoming one with the world. Doesn't that sound nice? Where is it? Oh, the monastery's location is very, very hidden. Deep in the mountains, in fact. I'll tell you where it is if you give me money, though. Wait, really? No, of course not. <laughs> That's not how it works. Oh. Well then, I thought that would be where we find a guide, but let me just uh, speak to her again. Really? None of them want to help? What do we do now? Oh. Look, I'm sorry we can't help you, but I think I know someone who might want to. I don't recommend him, but if you really need a guide, he's the one to call. I don't approve of you all climbing to the top of the mountain, but if you need to find the guide, he lives just outside of town. Ask for Timber. Timber, eh? Well then, Professor, I guess that settles it. We'll go get this Timber guy. Oh, Professor, you should also take these, just in case. Ten Pokeballs, nice. Thank you very much. And before you do that, there's a monk in the traveling tent who wants to see you. I think he's part of your group or something. Well, I guess we should do that first. Anyway, let's go. Oh, just went to the tent. <laughs> All right. What does he want now? Oh, it's a different monk. Yo. Oh, hello, Professor Powers. Um, Kaosang? I'll be joining you and the others on your journey to the summit of Everon. This will be my first journey to the Nachula Monastery. I have to figure out where it is as we climb. First, though, would you like to have a battle? A friendly competition? Yeah, sure. Very well. I won't hold back. Neither will I. Wait, date. I don't think I healed up from the last battle. Oh, snap. I'm going to lose. Yep. Oops. My bad. Unless we can like one shot, that'd be great. <laughs> oh, let's go. Oh, that was funny. Um, good battle. You're going to find a guide on the next route over. Very well. I'll meet you later. Goodbye and thank you for the battle. You are welcome. Right, let's get healed up because we desperately should. Then go find this timber guy. So far, this game's kind of funny. I'm liking it. I wonder what the Yeti will be. Like a Fakemon or just be like a... Maybe it's a Pokemon that just got mistaken for a Yeti. I don't know. I have to wait and see. Think about it. Is it even like a, a Yeti Pokemon in Pokemon? I'm not even sure like, what, we, what you would consider a Yeti. Like, to me, I always think... I don't know, like a, a an Ice Bigfoot. <laughs> Uh, like, no. That's a polar bear. Ooh. Again, I feel like I recognize this music, but... I like it. Oh, I feel like I definitely recognize it. It's really nice though. <laughs> Alright, another shockwave. And we're gonna finish that with chalk off and hopefully get level 31. There we go. Can't breathe anymore. Ooh, that's not good. Found Aoife, sweet. Probably should see what Pokemon we can catch around here. A Sneasel, okay. Uh, should we get a Sneasel? I think we should. Sneasels are pretty cool. 
Don't do like knee sneezles. We really don't want a shiny one in Pokemon Go. They were spawned in a lot recently and I just I, I just tapped on so many, never got a shiny though. Which sucks. Oh no, come on. Uh, I feel like I would kill it. Let's just go for another Pokeball. Try my luck. But I do want to try and catch a swine up to try and get that Numble, because I think Numble would be really good. Get a nice camera up. Alright, nice, nice, nice. What is going on here? Hi. <laughs> can't stand the cold? Uh, sometimes I can't stand the cold. Ooh, you got a swine up, okay. Uh, I'm gonna go for an ominous wind. Not bad, not bad. Icy wind. Ow. Come on, please dial speed it. Oh, that sucks. Oh, okay, I shot, it's fine. It's priority. I really do like the music though, it's really nice. <laughs> Yo! No, I won't let you out of the cave. Could you please explain to me why exactly you decided to leave me alone in the middle of a blizzard? And then you run away? Come on! Oh. Don't know what's going on there, but it does not seem good. <laughs> what is an iron behind? Oh, I need cut. Uh, dealing? No, we do not want a dealing. I think as well, if I'm... Yeah, this is the area. So, for this game jam, it's a bit different than all the other game jams I've had for the past few years. Um, basically, there was a... Oh, okay. There was a like a little bit of a map you have to incorporate into your game. As you can tell, you might recognize this area here with the cave and this little door on the truck here. And uh, yeah, this is where it's used in this game. But I think, I don't know if you had to use it, but like a lot of the fan games, like the Roller Castle Game Jam games of this year I've played, uh, all of them had, have had this area. Do you remember in, um, oh, we had, where was it in, um, Cryptic. Cryptic, it was by where Reggie Aqua was, I think. Ooh. Okay, this is actually kind of bad. We're going to probably lose this. Uh, should I heal up? Oh, I'm just going to go for another shockwave. Snap that confusion. Nice. Yeah, I think it was by the, the cave where you... The cave... Yeah, the cave you go into is where, like... You kind of end the game. Yeah, that's where that area is. Grasha is where we got Mew. Pandora, I... I think Pandora was in the... It was just like left of the, the town you start in. Yeah, I think, I think that's it. And this is the fourth form we're playing. Nice, nice, nice. I'm surprised I actually lived that. I really thought I was going to get wrecked. <laughs> Do you want to heal me up? Go away. Wait, you're Timber. Huh? Need a guide? Where are you going? To the summit. To the peak of Mount Everon. The summit, you say? And why do you think I'll help you? Well, we'll pay well and uh, we need a guide and nobody else will help us. Why is there food in the corner? But um, what if you can get up to the mountain when no one else has, has done it? Do you think you can get up the mountain at all? Not about your help. We need you, Timber. You've heard stories of the Yeti, yes? A dangerous creature who can control the mountain and kills everyone it sees. Are you afraid? Do you think because you're from Gala, where everyone is so perfect that getting to the top will just come to you? Prove to me, uh, prove to me you've got what it takes. I challenge you to a battle. Uh, I should heal up first. Okay, it's not good. Uh, what do, what do, what do? Just guess I lose this battle and come back and win next time. This is not good. This is not good. Sneasel is going to be way too weak to do anything. But if Sneasel does do it, some pretty decent XP there. Nice. And Pidgey Odo. We have no ice type moves. That sucks. Let's go for our home claws. Okay, yeah, if he goes another quick attack, we lose. Yeah. That sucks. I guess we have to, we have to win this fight, so we have to come back. Yeah. 
All right, now that we're fully healed, let's try this again. This time, we're going absolutely wreck you, dude. So we go for this ominous wind. Good damage, good damage. Icy wind, that's fine. One more to finish you off, and when the Pidgeotto comes out, we go for uh, Shockwave. Alright, nice. And Pidgeotto, we are... Oh no, I didn't mean to go to Ominous Wind, it just double clicked. Oops. That's fine, that's fine. It's fine. Twister doesn't do too much damage, so it's all, it's all good, and we can one-shot you. Perfect. Nice. Hmm. <laughs> to you too. I want easy on you. You're decent. I'll help you. But only for your sake. Not Gallas or your Queens or whatever you guys say. Meet me outside as soon as possible. Okie dokie. Why have you got food in the corner? <laughs> right. Uh, oh. Don't want to go that way. Oh, there he is. Yo. Uh, here you are, Mr. Professor. There's no fancy send-off, no tearful goodbye as we start our journey. There's only enough space in the truck for me, your assistant lady, that monk, and the military man. So unfortunately, you'll have to go through that cave to get to the first camp. I'm sure you'll be fine. <laughs> get some practice in. Bye. Oh. Well then. Uh, I'm going to quickly go heal up first. And um, maybe we can get some supplies somewhere. And then we can go and uh, go through the cave, get to the first camp. All right, we're back, nice and healthy. And if you go back to the gear shop, you can actually buy some stuff. So I bought, uh, I should probably put leftovers on someone. There we go, I bought, uh, let's see, I bought revives, potions, two great balls, and I bought a repel, just in case. All right, let's start making our way through. Yo, with this rock under my feet, my team is as solid as they'll ever be. Ooh. Doom, 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 doom. I love this music, man. Alright, Marina. Okay, that's not great for us. Uh, what do, what do? I guess we just switch. It's level 30 though, so it's a little scary. I feel like we might be going back and forth from the Pokemon Center a lot at the moment. I'm gonna go for a Home Claws. Are you kidding me? Wow. Okay. Fury swipes it is. Does like no damage. Are you kidding? I was hoping it would do a little bit more than that. Just a little bit. Am I really going to get wrecked by Mighty Unit, you know, our first trainer in here? <laughs> oh my god. I feel like we're going to be, uh, yeah, doing a lot of grinding bites. going to do so much damage. I can finish you off. I honestly think we lose. Oh, we just won. Okay. Right. Uh, I want to maybe catch some Pokemon. Never melt ice. Okay. Got no like ice type moves at the moment. What can we get in here? Snow run. Okay, I don't mind a snow run. Uh, let's go shockwave. Probably best we just build up a team a little bit. I need to get a swine up because I need to get that Numble. I think it'll be so good, so helpful. All right, let's go Pokeball. Come on, come on, come on. Hey! Whew, all right. I've got you. All right, what else can we get in here? More snow runs. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly do a little bit of grinding, build up, build up a team, and then um, we'll continue on through this cave because I feel like we're def definitely gonna need uh, the XP, gonna need the, uh, the more Pokemon for the team. Because just from that one trainer, it was, it was quite difficult. All right, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, we're back. I caught a Dealing and a snow run. And I probably need to try and stinks a little bit, but... Ah, oh dude, training was taking too long, but Rodan grew a few levels, which is great, level 34. So, let's, uh... Go into... Dealing, because... 
Uh, I tried leaving this place. I'll quickly show you guys. I couldn't. Yeah, I can't leave sometimes. Don't know why, but I can't leave. So I had to like lose this guy to, to get out. Which is fine. I lost a little bit of money, but I'll fight this dude. Kick his butt. Get some more money. And we can buy some more supplies later on. Alright, so Baldur, we are going to go for jump kick. Doesn't do that much. Okay. Just don't miss the jump kick. That's all we have to do. One more jump kick. Don't miss it. And everything is fine. Nice. Alright. Easy XP for dealing. And Dog Trio. We will go Snow Run. Go for a nice Ice Fang. Cat's fine. That's fine. Not bad damage. One more Ice Fang. Finish you off. Unless you go for some... Stupid move that kills me. Nice. Alright, not bad, not bad. Uh, I guess we'll fight you. I'll fight everyone. We need the XP. We need the money. That's what we'll have to do. Alright, Fear. Yeah, we're switching out. It's gonna sneeze. I reckon Sneasel could probably take you out. Maybe. Definitely can't. <laughs> so we'll just go for some shock waves. Your pursuit. Oh god. <laughs> so far, I definitely can say I think this game is a little hard. <laughs> we'll probably get better. The more we like level up and stuff, the more we build our team. It's all gonna be good. What's next? You have a Watch Hog, which we will jump kick and hopefully get level 30. How does Dealing evolve? I honestly cannot remember the last time I used a Dealing and I do not remember when they evolve. So, what we do is we use our good pal Google. When does Dealing evolve? Okay, that just says it evolves into Source Bug. Uh, Level 34. Okay, it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Any four more levels to go. We'll jump kick. Oh, um, kind of good. Only caught one because I was uh, using Royal under a little bit of training. Saw one. When we jump kick, missed crash. I was like, oh, you got jump kick. That will actually come kind of come in handy against some fighting uh, fighting types, ice types. All right, what have you got? You got a skitty. We are so weak. But we can get a critical hit. Oh, let's go. So clutch. Let's go some stairs there. Let's go down this. Oh, there's two ways to go. Okay. Uh, let's go this way. I want to go the wrong way so we can potentially just find some cool stuff. If I land this, you should die instantly. <laughs> yeah, there's no way a sneeze will land. Uh, li um, lives a jump kick. Really surprised that happened. What are you trying? To, oh, where are you trying to go? Doesn't matter. I'm your foe. Hey, you rhymed. <laughs> uh, bow door. We are gonna jump kick. And smack down. You're probably dead. Great. Ah. I'm not gonna do much. But I was hoping to get a little bit of XP with Snow Run. Nope. for wave critical hit let's go you got one more pokemon maybe bro can get level 35 that'd be kind of cool dog tree oh no this is bad i only got sucker punch oh we are so dead oh critical hit again let's go Woo! dude our luck's insane really good <laughs> All right, let's run away and we got a repel I'm not sure if I'm supposed to walk onto this bit here but I can uh, let's not go this way because we haven't got flash so let's just start going up 
guess maybe that's like a maybe a post game part or maybe like a little secret down there if you want to try and go through without flash but maybe if we don't get flash and then we get to the end I'll try to go through and see where it takes us oh, beam ow oh we are so getting wrecked Got the stat boost, but I don't think it's enough. Can try a shockwave. No! Okay. I'll see you guys when we get back here. <laughs> Alright, this time we're back. Uh, not fully healthy, we went to a little fight, but still probably good enough to take you out. Or not. <laughs> uh, let's go Sneasel. I need to try to the Sneasel a little bit. Let's go for Metal Claw. We should be able to beat this in a fight. If we get the attack boost, I think we can get attack boost from Metal Claw, right? If we get that, then we definitely win. Come on, Liv. Yeah, man. And now, get me level 26. At least, please. Please, game. Nice. And halfway to 27, or over halfway. Awakening, okie dokie. Uh, yo, what's up, dude? Can you see the light at the end of this tunnel? Uh, not at the moment. I cannot. But please be easy to beat. I need this XP, dude. This Metal Claw could become really good if we were like a high enough level to take out all these Ice type Pokemon. Right, let's get a little Snow Run. Snow Run versus Snow Run. I don't know why, but I kind of feel like if Pokemon was real. Watching a snow run fight a snow run could be one of the most adorable things I've ever seen in my life. Honestly. Just like, can you imagine them just like headbutting each other? <laughs> one just stands there, takes the headbutt, the other one gets back up, headbutts him back. Just back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> that would be so cute! Kinda wanna see it. Uh, okay. Right, you got a graveler. Let's ice bang that bad boy, and we're probably gonna die here. Yep. I'm not sure how we beat a Graveler with Rodon, but give it a go. Let's try Ominous Wind. Eh, it's not bad, actually. Really good. And you missed the Rock Blast. Sucks to be you, dude. Sucks to be you. Okay, this is kind of tough. If we want to get the stat boost right now, that'd be great. Oh, you would paralyze me. Come on. What even do I go for? Just gonna keep some shockwave and eventually, hopefully, we'll take you out. Might take a while. Oh, we are so. Yeah. This is bad. We're losing 100%. And we flinched. Okay. I don't wanna waste my revives. So I might just lose and come back here. And you missed. And then we're paralyzed. Come on, dude. Can I just, like, not get paralyzed? At least he keeps missing the rock slide. Alright, I'm gonna be a pain in the bum. I'm gonna keep spamming double team. And with any luck, he just keep, he won't be able to hit me. That is the, the goal, anyway. And let leftovers heal me up. We can win this battle. It'll be just kind of crazy. Alright, I think that should be enough. Well, now we'll just spam shockwaves. We might actually win this. No, we let him attack. Oh my god, he got a critical hit. Are you kidding me? Bro. And you missed. Good. Oh, wow. Dude, that was... <laughs> That was close. Uh, I'm not going to fight this lady. But knowing my luck, I'm not going to be able to run away from a Sneasel. This is bad. He's going to kill me. 100% Sneasel. Okay, good. Let me grab this or not. These Sneasels are going to be a pain in the butt, dude. That sucks. Oh, i got to fight this woman. Okay. 
quickly take her out. A little bit of grind on the way. And it's got wrecked. Oh man. Uh, are we going to lose this battle? What is likely? Come on, Shockwave. Keep going for that damage. I just realized I left the speed on super fast. Let's put this back. Okay, there we go. So to run back as fast as I could and substitute. Uh, uh. I'm actually not going to get it. Because I think if we struggle, we're just going to double team. <laughs> Keep some of that again and we'll be fine. <laughs> Got to repel. Alright. Oh! Are you kidding me? Oh, we went into the first camp and I could just not have to run all the way back. Okay, so. Uh, can I heal up here? I'm assuming I can, yeah. Probably talk to you. Alright, good. So, and this is probably a great place to end this episode off. I'm going to do a lot of grinding. I'm going to get everyone to about level 32, 33 at least. And uh, yeah, next episode we will continue up. Make our way to like the second camp, third camp and whatnot. Maybe find the Yeti. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.